So, here we are with an all-known person of us, Alexei. Nice to, ha to have you again here. Uh, I think you have a few novelties. Uh, you've, been, um, you've been active lately, I guess. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, our group, the Russian Bear Service Crew, uh, is uh, developing new hardware. We continue supporting the old hardware and developing new hardware. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm very happy to present uh, an enhanced version of Carnivore, uh -huh. a new addition to the Carnivore family, that would be Carnivore 2 Plus. Now this is uh, I had not seen this box yet. Uh, it's uh, it's really really nice. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a nice box uh, with a nice hardware in it. So we basically uh, let me show you. Yeah. Um, it has a, a leaflet uh -huh. and a cartridge. And the cartridge here. In a VIP box. Oh, sorry, uh, this way. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And uh, so saying two plus, I guess that this means it's basically the, uh, the Carnivore 2, but with uh, some things new added. What's new? What we can find? Yeah, well, when we analyzed what people expected from Carnivore 2, uh, we received some feedback that some people didn't like uh, the complication com uh, that the firmware updating is complicated, uh, and at some point uh, we realized we cannot add any more new features to Carnivore 2. Mm -hmm. So there was a decision made to make a better cartridge uh, with a bigger FPGA, uh, with more flexibility, and uh, with more par with with the parts that are easily accessible uh, from the market. For example, if you take uh, old Carnivore 2. Uh, it's very difficult to get certain components. They mm -hmm. come either broken or you cannot solder them properly or they fail at some point. So the design was changed first to have the firmware updated directly from the MS6 machine without any problem and second uh, that um, uh, that the, the, the chips that we use are easily accessible as new ones and not as the soldered ones. So this design has a better DAC converter mm -hmm. and obviously yeah, uh, this pl platform is more flexible which means that with the easy firmware update feature, the EFU, uh, it's, you can select your own configuration. For example, you can have a firmware with FMPEG, MSX Music. Mm -hmm. If you already have a FMPEG in your machine, you can select a different firmware that has SFG, for example, or MS6 mm -hmm. Audio. So we just finished the uh, SFG um, SFG firmware two days ago. Mm -hmm. It needs a bit more polishing. Uh, and uh, there will be a selection of different firmwares. And also this uh, platform allows a bit more flexibility. So we added the SN7 chip support and we will add additional stuff like, for example, Wi-Fi or maybe Bluetooth and easy, uh, pro more flexible memory management. So we basically made a flexible platform that a user can use different firmware to configure the, the cartridge as he wants. Mm -hmm. So somebody that has uh, the Carnivore 2, what will find, uh, is there any difference on the operation and so on, or the menus? Uh? Uh, we, like, as many people already got Carnivore 2s, um, we didn't change the outer design too much. So it's the same boot menu, it's the same set of utilities. Mm -hmm. um, what is new is the SD card slot, because now this cartridge has both CF and SD card slots, mm -hmm. which makes it possible to use both or any of those. Mm -hmm. So whatever card you have, it will be booted from. If you want to boot, uh, if you want to, to move your carnivore two stuff to mm -hmm. SD card to be using the Carnivore 2 Plus, you can just enable the second cartridge and copy them with just one uh, just one move. Okay, just uh, for the information of the uh, of the listeners, it's going to be a micro SD card. Yeah, it's, it's, it's micro SD card. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, easily reachable uh, and it's uh, it doesn't uh, uh, so Let's see. Yeah. Uh, maybe over it, here. It, no, one here, moment, okay. yes. No, no, I can change, I can change the camera. Okay, here, here we have 
and see. Yeah, well, so this is all, SD card slot. I, I guess that compact flash does not leave uh, quite uh, a lot of room for. Well, we we have uh, like we had enough room to put two card uh, two uh, cards in. Uh, there was of course a discussion whether whether we should keep the CF slot, but mm -hmm. as many people have carnivore tools it's probably easier for them to reuse the card if they want to or just copy it from one card to another mm -hmm. in just a simple dos command okay so uh, and you plan uh, because uh, one thing you did you sold the, the board and the components as a package so the people could build them uh, this time you are going to sell it uh, Ready, uh, ready to pl uh, plug and play, or see, uh, I mean, uh, already soldered uh, and so on. Yes, uh, we at this moment this uh, this cartridge will be RBRC exclusive, which means that only our manufacturer, uh, whose name is uh, like trademark yes. is Maxiol. Maxiol, yeah. He he will be making those. So okay. there will be uh, for now there will be this VIP packaging for the first batch mm -hmm. and maybe for other batches. And later on, we'll probably introduce uh, well simpler packaging. Mm -hmm. So like, yes. like this one, like carton box, and uh, probably a different sticker. Okay. So the we'll beer, see. the beer also gets uh, restyling. Yeah, the beer actually got restyling. Uh, uh -huh. This was made by my daughter Maria, and I uh -huh. think she made an excellent work. So kudos for Maria, <laughs> to Maria because of the of the job. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit small, but yeah. yeah well, it, it, it's all hand drawn. Uh -huh. basically. Fine. Yeah, and the other thing uh, is that uh, we we are continuing to develop our hardware. For example, there will be a newer version of uh, MSX EQ mm -hmm. uh, cartridge, and I also made uh, uh, an adapter for uh -huh. the MSX EQ cartridge for the computers that have front slots. So now you c because uh, if you put a cartridge into the front slot it will be you know facing upwards. Right. Now you can put it so it will be facing you and you can see all the nice lights okay. and uh, and so on. Okay. I remember uh, a card that you were making for uh, helping with the di diagnose of the che checking M uh, MSX to see if they have problems with the memory or if um, they have problems with the VDP. Uh, uh, did you finish that? or Th This project is called Ibolit. Ibolit is a Russian character, like a doctor, who, uh -huh. who treats animals. And uh, this, this project was made uh, a few years ago, I think. It's public. It's open source. You can uh -huh. download the sources. You can, make your own, uh, okay. uh, you can make your own board. It's very easy to solder. You just need to program four uh, GAL chips, which is basically a logic chip, programmable logic chip. And uh, uh, the, you can basically make yourself a diagnostics cartridge. Okay. The thing is, it doesn't show you what exactly is wrong with the machine. It shows you all the signals with blinking mm -hmm. lights. It shows you the current voltages on the bus. So you can already see that if something is wrong. Okay, you need a still a technician behind, somebody you, you, that understands. You, you have to know, yeah. Uh -huh. Because if you, for example, see that there is like uh, lights are blinking in a, in a let's say, certain pattern after reboot and, and it, it reboots again and there is again the same pattern which means that something is broken in the RAM mm -hmm. and machine just uh, reboots in a cycle. Okay, okay, I see. I hope, uh, do you have any expectation for Carnivore 2 to be, uh, 2 Plus to be ready for, uh, for sale? Uh, uh, mm. it, it's already available for sale on the website. Uh, I'm not sure when exactly it's going to be shipped, probably within a week or two. We just need to f to finish the firmware uh, so that uh, users have a, would have a selection mm -hmm. what to upload, uh, and of course this uh, cartridge will be compatible as Carnivore 2 with Arabic and, and Korean machines mm -hmm. with a special boot block. So we hope to extend this cartridge even more with additional modules. We'll see how uh, like what modules we could get. We use the modules from Yotego. I hope I pronounce it correctly. This GT logo. Mm -hmm. So these are uh, basically emulation for the different music modules. Okay. The FM pack is still the old uh, from a Japanese person, mm -hmm. but uh, the new modules SFG, MSX Audio and others uh, are from Yotego and we okay. would like to thank him for his contribution. Okay, then uh, th thank you thank you very much for your time. I hope uh, you stay uh, to, to keep... Uh, I hope to, to, keep in see seeing you, to keep seeing you again in, the, in these meetings. I hope the, 
one day you can come to Barcelona also to, to show up. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, let's knock on wood. Yeah, <laughs> no, well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll prefer the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Yeah, thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye.